A lot of people ask me how do you get Grand Prix 3 working on Windows 10 and how do you configure the steering wheel and pedals. In this video I'm going to give you a quick tutorial. So the most important thing that you need is called a DirectX 7 wrapper. If you don't know what that is don't worry it's dead easy to set up. We've actually got two options for this. One is called DG Voodoo 2 and the other one is called DXWND. Personally I find DG Voodoo to be the more compatible option it's slightly easier to set up, but you do require a faster PC to run it. If you're trying to run GP3 on a laptop or an older piece of hardware, then I recommend DXWND instead. I'll put links to both of these software options in the comments below. So let's start with DG Voodoo. So once you've downloaded the DG Voodoo zip file, you want to open it up and then copy the config file and the exe file to your Grand Prix 3 root directory. Then go back to the zip and open the ms folder, the x86 folder, and then copy all of the files here again to the same location. After that open the control panel and set the scaling mode to stretch to keep aspect ratio. Then go to the DirectX tab and just set everything up as you see here. The game's not Glide compatible so don't worry about that tab. Then click OK and you can run the game. If you find the frame rate in Grand Prix 3 is not very good, especially at the start of races, then I recommend deleting the files from DG Voodoo and using DXWND instead. After downloading the file from the website, extract the contents to any folder on your PC and then run the program. Then you want to click Edit, Add, give it a name. Here I've called mine GP3. Then set the path to the GP3 EXE and set the launch path to GPX patch. Then you want to set the video, mouse, DirectX tabs as you see on the screen here. After that click on OK and then double click the GP3 icon and you're ready to start the game. So now let's very quickly configure the steering wheel settings. So you want to go to the options menu and then controls, select wheel, select advanced and then the most important thing here make sure that you select control driven calibration and then calibrate controller. Follow the instructions on screen to calibrate the controller. It's important that controller A is the steering wheel and controller B are the pedals. If not you won't get any force feedback in the game. Keep watching the video and I'll show you how to resolve that issue shortly. Once calibration is complete click on OK and now we need to select the gear change and the pit signal device buttons. Best way to do that is to select the menu here then press the corresponding key on your steering wheel and it will automatically select the correct fire button. Once you're done click on OK. Make sure that enable force feedback is checked and the scaling is set to 100%. And then the next most important settings are here. I recommend a low sensitivity zone of 10%. That way the steering wheel won't be so sensitive around the center point. Max lock should be set to about 15 degrees. Again, this will affect the sensitivity of the steering. And reduce with car speed should be set to 0%. And then we get fully linear steering. These settings work best with 440 degrees of rotation. If you're not getting any force feedback in the game, we need to go to control panel devices and printers and then right click on either the wheel or the pedals and then game controller settings. As you can see here we've got the pedals at the top of the list and the wheel base at the bottom. We want to switch those around. Best way to do that is to right click on the pedals then click remove device and click yes. Then unplug the pedal set from your PC and plug it back in again. When the device gets redetected it should come up as the second device now instead of the first. If you have a combined Logitech set this probably won't work for you because the steering wheel and pedals will be registered as one device. Therefore I recommend opening the Logitech profiler and seeing if you can change the axes settings. For example if you set the wheel to X axis and the pedals to Y and Z then it should make the steering wheel as controller A and the pedals as controller B. However I don't actually have a Logitech wheel so I can't test this out. If you have everything configured correctly then you should get full force feedback in the game and everything should feel pretty good. Hope that helps a few people. Thanks for watching.